Smoke billows over an eastern Ukrainian airbase. This is unverified footage. There have been reports of a military helicopter being hit by a rocket-propelled grenade. Whatever this is, it's likely to add to the sudden new escalation in tensions here. And armed pro-Russian activists seemingly very much back in charge outside the eastern Ukrainian town of Slavyansk, a day after short-lived Ukrainian army raids raised the political and diplomatic temperature in this tense standoff another significant notch. The Americans are laying the blame for images like these more squarely than ever at Russia's door. This is a full-throated effort to actively sabotage the democratic process through gross external intimidation. Russia has put its faith in distraction, deception, and destabilization. For seven days, Russia has refused to take a single concrete step in the right direction. But as the diplomatic war of words intensifies, Russia's foreign minister has hit back with some accusations of his own. The West, and this is how it all began, wants to seize control of the Ukraine because of its own political ambitions, not the interests of the Ukrainian people. Just what the Ukrainian military's raids have really achieved is unclear. They certainly angered Moscow enough for it to order new military maneuvers, according to one report within a kilometre of the Ukrainian border. The move prompted this from Ukraine's interim Prime Minister Arseniy Yatsenyuk. Attempts at Russian military aggression on the territory of Ukraine will cause military conflict in the European area, he told a cabinet meeting. And Russia already wants to start the Third World War, he said. With no apparent resolution to the standoff on the ground, does all this bring a direct confrontation between Ukraine and Russia closer? And if so, what will the international fallout be? Nick Childs, BBC News.